Hey, I'm so excited to say that I've learned something new. I'm learning and I want to share it with you. So here's what happened in Houston last year. A gal named Clara Lawrence, many of you know her, came up with a great idea to raise money for Libby's medical fund. And the idea is that a bunch of us are making quilts that are going to measure 30 by 30 and are basically inspired by Libby. So of course I raised my hand as well did Ricky. And I started looking at Libby's quilts and going, Going, oh gosh now what should I do I don't want to do a splat quilt I don't want to do a pond scum quilt and then I thought you know this here crop circles might be a really fun quilt to work off of because Libby loves circles and so do I so I looked at the colors very carefully and I called up cherrywood fabrics and with my own stash got these colors so let me show you what I'm doing here. Put this on the ground. I'm doing my classic sticks and stones, insert little pieces of fabric, and then I decided I wanted to do circles on it like how Libby does. So I know that Libby loves her Bernina Circle Maker, and I got it out and I learned how to play with it. It's a really snazzy attachment. So what you do is you screw it in here, it comes right down here, and then there's this pointy thing that's really, really sharp, and it, you have this little cap that goes on top. You want, I mean, I really did stab myself. And then it's kind of like a compass. This moves to different positions. You put your fabric on it and then you stitch. So of course, in something like this, I was using, um, am using Ricky Tim's uh, stable stuff here, but I found that the circles were not meeting up. So I called my girlfriend at Bernina, Jeannie Delpit, and she said, get some cut away stabilizer, not tear away, and put it where the point is going to go that you'll be circling around. So I spray basted this on very lightly as well as this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this pointy thing and I am going to poke it on through push 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 there and then you want to put this on top and Libby always said at the super seminars you're going to lose this so just use like an eraser from a pencil mechanical pencil and that will work. All right, so then I decided to just do a satin stitch. I tried to do some fancy stitches. I'm not good enough yet. So you just go where you wanna go, okay? And the satin stitch that I'm using on my machine, I have shrunk it down to 1.8 wide. Whoops, let me go backwards. And I've made it 0.25 long. So you can see I really tightened it up. So then the other thing you need to do, you want to put on your number 20 foot. This is my 20D because I'm using the dual feed that's on my um, 700 series. Love that feature. Okay, so what you need to do then is take your quilt and kind of make it like a pastry puff with like the cream cheese stuff in the middle. You don't want any drag anywhere you don't want it hanging off the table or anything like that and you put down your foot and you just start in i hope i'm clear enough now i am having to maneuver it a little bit all right i am concerned now that i'm thinking about it that i'm going to hit where the extra stabilizer is but in a perfect world, I will get this just going. I'm just easing it, and so it's kind of working like a compass. Now the reason you want to use the cutaway stabilizer is because in this quilt, and in Libby's quilts, she would have concentric circles, and this little sharp point would just start chewing up the tearaway stabilizer. Oh my gosh, I love this. I have to tell you right now, I will be making more quilts like this. And frankly, it's gonna be hard for me to let this one go, but it's for my buddy Libby. You 
want to make sure you don't get any puckers in here or tucks because that just stinks. See, like right there, I want to kind of maneuver that. Get this out of the way. I just love this. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the thread. I'm gonna move it out a couple more, just by, you know, it's got those little things like that. Change the color of the thread. And voila, it's that easy. Haven't decided how I'm gonna quilt it yet, but hey, give me a thumbs up that this is coming along. This was really scary territory for me, and I'm so glad I took the challenge and followed the lead of my friend Libby Lehman. So if you're going to a uh, fall festival, please check out this uh, special exhibit. Again, there's one by Ricky, one by me, and other people in the industry. So I gotta go back to stitching. I am having too much fun. And Bob Purcell, let me tell you, your thread rocks. Glitter, yeah, I would have never used glitter before.